And Albies touches that one. Oh, Jonathan India to his right. And Albies is punched out on a close play at first base. What a play by Jonathan India ranging to his right and getting Albies. How about the communication right there in the infield? When you have the shift, he knows exactly where Farmer is. Takes a dive, makes a great play, and he's got a strong arm. He played third. So not necessarily first pitch, fair ball. Farmer sprints home. He scores. Fairly rounds third. Keeps the helmet on. He scores. Jonathan India delivers a two-run double. 4-2. You can see Bieber. And that is a fair ball inside of third. A tumbling Rojas couldn't handle. Friedel's got wheels. Windmill on in third. Peralta from left. The relay to the plate. No shot. Head first plunge in, and it gets away. India pops up from second. He takes third. And India lines that ball sharply down the left field line. Gone. It felt like the Reds needed a pick-me-up. And last year's Rookie of the Year cranks a laser home run to tie it up with the leadoff bomb. Well, this is the way you respond right here. India gets into this oh. one high in the air. Deep center, Morel bending back, and that's gone. The second home run of the year for Jonathan India, and he pummels a three-run shot to center. A 5-0 Reds lead. Well, Jim Day clued us in. Looped. Caught by a leaping India. This ball hit off the end of the bat with a little bit of top spin. And Jonathan India timed it perfectly and with the reach. Come up with the play. Nice job. That is looped over second, right center, base hit. Farmer scores. Solano around third, and the Reds lead. Down to their last strike. India plates a pair, and Cincinnati takes a 4 3 advantage in the ninth inning. India charges this ball to left. O'Neill fades back, and that ball's going to carry. It's gone. Buried in an 0-2 count, India takes the pitch to left field and puts the Reds ahead right out of the gate, one to nothing. And he bashes that ball, destroys it to left. Upper deck grand slam. Swings at it though. India to right. Back Renfro. Still back. It's off the top of the wall. India digging for two. The throw from Renfro all the way through. It's 2 0 Cincinnati. A couple of RBI doubles here in this second against Aaron Ashby. India gets a heater down and away. Just drives this ball off the right center field wall. That's not a terrible pitch by Ashby. It was a homer. First pitch. Bash to deep right center. Leap at the wall, and that's gone. And Marsh might be hurt. He is crumpled down to the ground. Oh. India into right field. Bad dive by Gamble. It's by him. Fraley scores. India eyeballs right. He surges through second. Races over to third and takes it standing. Gamble took a major chance and gets burnt in a big way. It's six to two. Payoff. Chopped. Pick steer scores and the Reds win. Last year's rookie of the year puts it in play and plays the latest Reds rookie. It's the first Reds rookie scoring a walk-off run in his debut in 90 years and the first walk-off hit of Jonathan India's career. They're going to come down and give, give that. India gets into it, charges to deep left center. Yep. One run game. Paul's crushed. The longest.
longest active hitting streak in baseball stretched to 16 on a no doubter. 107 and 25, 447. India left side gets through. Reds grab the lead. It's 4 3. Third hit of the afternoon for Jonathan India. Oh man, when well, we talked about him and we talked about how good he is with two strikes. India cranks it in the air. That's got big carry to left center field. Oh my goodness! It ricochets beyond the walking bridge on top of the bullpen. India clobbers a two run homer, his 10th of the year, and the Reds are up a comfortable five spot in the ninth. And Jonathan India goes right down to get a breaking ball that's hanging out over the plate. And boy, is the ball kicked. That is hit hard. It's drilled to center over Morell's head. Fairchild scores. That's a double skipped over the fence. India round second, but. Ryan Will, second base umpire, has been pointing to second base the whole time, and he's going to beckon India back. Well, this is really just a good piece of hitting by Jonathan India right there. Thinking middle of the field. Look how he pulls his hands in and gets the bat head to the ball. And this, in my opinion, is when he's at his best, when he's hitting the ball through the middle of the field because he's got plenty of power.